And of course, I have a ChatGPT prompt that can help you write these headlines. Uh, this is one of my favorite ones. Generate five compelling headlines for a hero section uh, of a website that offers, you add your core offering, targeted at, you add your audience. The headlines should highlight the benefits. You can add your benefit. You can add your emotion, the tone of voice. And if you want certain keywords to be in there, you can also add them. Uh, I think it's a pretty good uh, prompt to help you get started. And once you have five different headlines, the next step is to see which one people like the most. So you can use a tool like Listener. Uh, so this is, it was Usability Hub back in the days. Now it's Listener. So you can do a preference test basically, and you can see which headline people like the most. Is it option one, two, three, four, five, or six? In this example, I had two options, option one and option two, and you can see that more people preferred option number two, and they can tell me why they preferred it, because it's more to the point, it delivered the value. So I think it's a great way to get the data from ChatGPT and validate this with real insights from real people that fit your target audience. Now, this is a paid tool. Of course, you have to buy credits to do this test and to reach out to these people. So if you don't have the money for it or you don't have the budget, I came up with a nice idea for myself to test certain assumptions that I have. So I built my own custom GPT to help me de-risk certain headlines and certain copy. So this is my user testing bot. I call this user testing bot. It's quite simple. It's a bot equipped with five, with 10 virtual testers that are part of the growth track persona. They can help me as, uh, conduct preference assessments for text and visuals. So it looks something like this. You can build this, I think, in five minutes. I go here. I'm going to show you how, how I build it. This was my instruction. So you are a user testing platform. Your role is to simulate the, perspec the perspective of 10 distinct personas when presented with a query that seeks to determine a superior choice. So it's your job to tell me the preference of every single persona. And below are my 10 personas. So this is growth rate personas that I just made quickly. We have Startup Steve. Uh, we have uh, Corporate Carol. And she has her own background, demographic and psychographic. It was done quickly with ChatGPT. I was like, hey, help me come up with 10 different personas for Growth Tribe. I got them quite quickly. You can do the same for your own business and you can populate this with real data. This is just for, uh, as an example. And then I asked it, I uh, did the following. I used this bot to do a preference test without Usability Hub. So I'm writing a new headline for my digital marketing course landing page. Please conduct a preference test to see which headlines testers, the virtual testers, prefer, uh, prefer the most. So this is headline number one, two, three, four, and five. And this user testing bot gave me the perspective from different personas. So Startup Steve prefers the first one, Cor uh, Corporate Carol prefers the second one, and so on. And at the end, I got the estimate. So basically, this headline, Lead the Digital Wave, got the most uh, votes because uh, basically 30% of personas liked it the most because it was able to highlight the appeal of a competitive advantage. Now, of course, it's not real people. So if you have a limited budget or just for yourself, you want to do a certain assumption, you want to prioritize some of your ideas, I think this one could be a nice way to do it. Uh, it's quite easy. As I mentioned, it takes five minutes. Uh, I can share actually this, uh, this uh, prompt with you without the personas. So just this one, I can share that with you. And then it's your job to add your personas, and then you can start doing the same thing and do a preference test.